We are today in an era of what, what an economist would call and business people would call uh, profound uncertainty. It's not a question of whether there's policy risk or not. It's more of an issue that we don't know what is going to happen next, and that's you know, pure uncertainty. And that's certainly the case within the United States, and I think it's, it's punctuated by the U.S.-China trade war uh, and by the current administration uh, who is changing its mind literally almost daily on, on, on policy issues. And that kind of uncertainty makes it very difficult for businesses to make plans on investment to plan their supply chains, uh, to figure out how long-lived their investments should be planned for. Um, so we are in, at least in my professional career, the most uncertain economic and trade policy time that, that I've experienced. We have seen over the last two decades that the growth rate in the economies of emerging markets is about twice that of advanced countries. And so you've begun to see a shift by investors and businesses towards the emerging markets because that's where the higher growth rates are. That uh, tends to turn upside down the traditional pattern of global governance which has been dominated by the advanced countries. And so one of the themes that we'll be exploring, which I think is top of mind today, is what are the kinds of allegiances that otherwise traditional multinational corporations based in the advanced countries uh, have, how might those be conflicted uh, where if you want to create a sound investment and those are emerging markets, you know, obviously you have different interest groups there than you do in the advanced countries. And I think that's going, to, we are at a, and we have been, I think, in the last four to five years at a, a shifting point because the emerging markets are, are now the engine of global growth.